In this video, you're going to learn and understand how your money will compound at the rate of 8% per annum. Now let's change this to 8% and let's see what is the difference. Let's do that. Makes sense. Your bond is giving you 8% yes. a year. Yield of 8% a year. Is that correct? Approximately 8%. Okay, if you're born, if you're getting eight percent a year, let's see how much how how much is the difference. Do you want to see the difference? Yeah. Okay, so now do uh, give me the calculation for eight percent. Okay, number one is your number. base principal one hundred yeah. plus eight percent. That's eight rupees. Yeah, is one oh eight rupees point six second, nine. Sorry. One oh eight point six nine. Which one? The one at eight percent. No, one oh eight. No, no. If it's growing at eight percent, the first year will be hundred and eight. No, that's what I said. Now you're on yeah, the second. Yeah, second year, right? one. Second one yeah. is how much? So. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. Is one one eight point one five. Okay. Now the third year. Yeah. So what is the base first? Let me the base. Is one one eight. Point one five. Yes. Plus eight percent is how much? One twenty eight point four two. Okay. Now are you seeing the difference between earning six percent and earning eight percent? Are you seeing the difference in the in the percentage in the interest? I am. I am. Just the two percent, two percent has got you the level of what the fifth year would have got you or the fourth year. But in two years, you reached in the third year itself, you reached your target of the third year. What you would get in the third year, I've already we reached my third year in six percent. So the fourth year of six percent. Correct. Mm. Okay. Now let's do the next one. What is the B? What is the principle? For the fourth year. Yeah. No, for the fifth year, it's uh, wait. I didn't actually write this yes. down. Hold on. I have put it out here. You can see it on the screen. Wait, I'll just try to make it. Check, I'm just doing it myself. Is this also. is this easier? I'm doing it all on one line. Is that's easier. easier. That's the way I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to show you, but it was just scattered. One, two, six. Two, six point seven. No, what is the no no no? It's not one to six point seven. The fourth year you have to tell me the interest rate. What is the what is one to eight point two two plus eight percent? How much is that? I had it. One to eight point two two six percent. One thirty six. Eight percent, eight percent, not six percent, eight percent, right? Yeah, eight percent. Eight percent. One to eight point two two plus eight percent. One thirty nine. One. Thirty nine point three six. Nine. And the fifth year. One thirty nine point three six plus eight percent will give me one fifty one. Point four eight, yeah. Now, are you seeing the difference between the two percent in a year into five years has given you your hundred and now now just you add zero. Say you had hundred crores, okay. Say you had ten crores. Suppose you had ten crores, okay. The first year, if you had put it in a bond of eight percent, okay, and you put it for a five-year bond, okay. The interest was 108 in the first year, so your 10 crores became 10 point. How much did it become? How much was your interest you got on 10 crores? Um, 108. Yeah. So no, how much was the interest? Eight percent is how much? How much on on 10 crores? It's eight. It's 80 lakhs. How much? 80 lakhs. 80. 80 lakhs. So that yeah. So now what what your what your bond tells you is that you cannot withdraw the money instantly, right? You're kept for five years, correct or no? Mm. Okay. And they are giving you 8% interest every year. 
Correct or no? Correct. If that 10 crores becomes 10 crores, 80 lakhs. Okay? In the mm -hmm. first year. Then second year, what, what is your principle? Let's start again now in terms of crores. Okay, so now in one. terms of crores. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it down again out here. So 10, let's do 1 crore, better, right? It'll be easier to calculate also. Yeah. What is 8% of 1 crore? 1 crore, one second. Yeah, yeah. 1 crore, 8 lakhs. Not 8 lakhs. It, it, it'll be 80 lakhs. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, oh, sorry, you're right. On 1 crore, it'll be 8 lakhs, correct. Correct or no? So, so yeah. we'll put it like this. Okay, one crore, eight lakhs. Am I correct on this? One crore, eight lakhs? Yeah, one crore, eight lakhs, yes. Okay. Now, what is what is the next year? Hold on. Yeah. Next year is one crore, eight lakhs. Plus eight percent mm -hmm. is that'll give me one crore eighteen. Yes, point one crore eighteen point, lakhs. One, one uh, fourteen thousand. Four, yeah, fourteen thousand seven hundred forty-four. Fourteen thousand seven forty-four. Correct? Is this mm -hmm. correct? Correct. What I'm writing down just to. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Now tell me what is the third year? One crore twenty eight lakhs forty two thousand one hundred and thirteen. Okay, fourth year? One crore thirty nine lakhs fifty thousand eight one eight. How much? One crore thirty nine lakhs. One second, one second, sorry, one second. No problem. Uh, yeah, plus eight percent. Yeah. Is how much is it? One, one crore, crore thirty nine lakhs. lakhs Fifty eight thousand eight hundred and eighteen. Mm -hmm. This is all value, right? What we're looking at here is all value. All value, all value, all value. Compounded okay. growth in value. And what? Yes. Previously, is this very clear? Previously, it was compounded growth upon interest. Previously, no. Even this is the same. same. That was the rule of seventy-two. Don't get confused. Okay. The rule of seventy-two is different. The rule of seventy-two will tell you in how many years your money will double. All right. You want to write that down? Write that down. The rule okay. of seventy-two is will tell you. Yeah. Hmm. Will tell you how many years your money will double in. Okay. So you do seventy-two by the by the interest rate. Seventy-two upon seventy-two divided by the interest rate. Hmm. Just write that down. Seventy-two divided by you can write it down like this. See, seventy-two divided by interest rate. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yeah, clear. Yeah, that's okay. quite clear. So, 72 divided by interest rate equals to time Two years. taken for doubling money in the years. Yeah, in years. Clear? Simple? Mm. You won't get confused now? No. See, I've written it down again. 72 divided by the interest rate equals to time taken to double money. Hmm. Doubling money. Clear? Yeah. So what are the two rules? One is 72 rule and this other one is compounded interest. What is hmm. it? Compounded interest. What we Great. did here. So when you say, when somebody says, yeah, when, 
So when somebody tells you Kager, what is Kager? You know, have you heard of Kager before? Yeah, Kager. Yes, perfect. Compounded. Yes. Growth rate, compounded annual growth rate. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect, perfect. Compounded annual growth rate. Excellent. So what did we calculate? This now. is CAGR. Now are you understanding the difference? This, what we calculated, one crore you put in fix in your bonds. The one crore, if you're getting 8% every year, the amount is this much you should have at the end of the fourth year. This is the fourth year. The fifth year you should have this plus 8% which comes to 1 lakh. Just do this. Uh, 1 yeah. crore, 39 lakhs. Let's do the fifth, fifth year. Yeah, do the fifth year. It gives me 1 crore, 51 lakhs, 72,628. Okay, perfect. Clear? Okay, now the same thing you are done in, in simple in if if the same thing you are done in simple interest, how much would you have made? Much less, you know. Yeah, but how much? I'm giving you a simple clue interest. Here. What is simple interest? Yeah, simple interest is only the interest. They don't add the the interest into the capital. So if you are growing at simple interest at 8%, wow. in five years, how much would you be? Simple interest. Um, from one crore, eight lakhs or? No, one crore. It'll be the, the first same. Year, it'll be... No, it won't be the same. If your first, first year you've done one crore no. and, you're, and you've grown in a, at simple interest, not compounded interest, simple interest, simple interest, will give you only your interest. So how much is your interest? 8%. So how much are you How much are you growing at every year? 8 lakh rupees. 8 lakh into 5 only years is how much? Only 8 lakhs. Yes. Only 8 lakhs. So how much is 8 lakhs into 5? 40 lakhs. Correct. So what would be your end of 5 years? How much would be your amount? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It'll be only one crore forty eight lakhs. One crore forty lakhs. Forty Five lakhs, years. yeah. One crore forty lakhs. Perfect. But when you take compounding, how much is the amount? It's one point five one. Perfect. Now you know the difference between compounding and simple interest. And that's it. Very important. And that's a ten. That's how much in lakhs. That's, well, that's uh, I, 11, 11 lakhs. 11 lakhs. 11 lakhs. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Do you want to see the difference if you're growing at 12% a year? You want to see that? No, it's fine. We know. Okay. It's fine. You know right now, right? Now you do the same thing 72 divided by 8. Do 72 divided by 8% and see how long will it take for you to double your money. Nine years. Nine years, right? Now you understood? So if you do nine years, if I continue doing this nine times, this is five times we've done it, right? First year, second year, third year, fourth year, correct? If I add another four years, okay. you're this one, one lakh, one crore will become two crores. How many years it took you to make it two crores? Five. Nine. And how many, how much percentage you grew at? Eight. Perfect. Perfect. You understood the concept, the eighth wonder of the world, which is compounded interest. You have absolutely understood what Warren Buffett calls the eighth wonder of the world, which is compounded interest. Is this very crystal clear? Now, you will you have any, any problem with calculation? Your base that plus your interest. Because they now really you add tell your you, interest to your base. Yeah. It's just the in, the base is there and then the interest and then the base becomes the answer for the the previous the the, the start yes. point for the previous figure. Correct. Correct. <clears throat> 
Okay, and what is the rule of seventy-two? I'm trying not to look my notes. It's um, the amount of years. Yes, perfect. It takes for you to, to double your money. To double your money. Perfect. How do you get it? By the rate of interest. Yes, perfect. Done. You understood both very clearly. Now don't see. Now, now you've understood it, so you don't have to learn it. Now it automatically will come to you next time when you if understand when anybody anybody talks about it. If you want and you still have it understood one hundred percent, read it once and try to not memorize it. Try to get the logic of it. And mm -hmm. once you get the logic of it, you will never forget. It. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So seventy two is the thumb rule of finance. And the second one, what we covered was compounding interest, and how much time, and how much will your amount be, and the difference between compounding and simple interest. Is that clear? Yeah. Very clear. Crystal clear. Do you want me to go through it again? I can go through it again. It's fine. It's fine. 